Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I had a supporter request to uh, have a look at Perl Linux OS. So he was looking for some Mac-like clones, and he did a really good job building him up a uh, budgie one, but he wanted me to have a look at Perl OS as well. And uh, so this was a supporter request, patreon.com forward slash Tom M, or on thinklifemedia.com. So uh, having a look at the website, um, the website is um, the website is old. The website is bad. The website is not mobile responsive, and uh, it does say latest update August um, 2016. That's I think just the website. The distro itself is generally active development. The latest edition was Pantheon, just came out a couple months ago, uh, based on the 1804 Ubuntu 1804 code base. Uh, he does have his own desktop environment called uh, Perl. I did find that the Perl desktop environment has a lot of problems. I would probably steer clear from that one for now. Um, but it does have the nice Pro version, which has a cinnamon build for those that want a more Windows-like feel. And it has a Mate build for those that want a more Mac-like feel. And so uh, the website, like I said, does have problems. We have our user manual, which is a 404 page. Uh, oops, manual not found. They do have a support forum, which is not super active, but who knows? It might uh, might be something worth having a look at. If you head on over to the Perl releases, you'll see where we have all of the different issues here. Now, we do have the latest Perl Pantheon 7.1 based on the Pantheon desktop. These are all Ubuntu 18.04 code base. Um, there's a motion video based on Mate. I'm not sure what that one is. Now, this one here, the Pro, um, I not sure if things are just labeled incorrectly or whatever else, but this AMD 64, which should be your 64-bit version, if you click through on this, everything says 32-bit on this, including the downloads. I was able to install it, and I'm not sure if my virtual machine here will support 32-bit the way I have my system set up. So I think that really is 64-bit, but it's labeled wrong, I think. Um, I did not try downloading the 32-bit. Uh, these are both the Mate and the Cinnamon. We do have a uh, point release. There's some GNOME with Nemo. There's some basic GNOME, presumably Nautilus. I did also have a look at the um, Perl desktop environment. There are a lot of problems with this, with theming, massive amounts of bloat. And I think it was like a 3.5 gigabyte download versus the Pro one was quite a bit smaller. I don't remember off the top, but I can actually go and look that up real quick. So the Pearl Pro was 1.6 gig. It does say 32 bit, but it doesn't sell on my 64 bit. So I don't know what it is. But anyway, let's go ahead and boot up the machine. And when we get the machine booted up, we will uh, have a look at the desktop. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. Now there are two desktop environments. We have a cinnamon desktop environment if you want to go with a more of a Windows-like feel and we have the Mate desktop. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in onto the Mate first and we'll uh, maybe we'll just go a little bit shorter and then we'll jump over and have a look at what the cinnamon looks like. So we're gonna boot in over here because the original user requested I look at the Mac type clone version and so let's see how well they were able to clone a Mac. So here we are on the desktop and uh, you can kind of see it does actually resemble modern Mac. The panel works very much like Mac. They're using the, the icons. Uh, he could have actually used more Mac-like icons. Uh, these are definitely Linuxy icons, except, of course, the Kaja there. Um, we do have an issue where in his setup where he's mapping something to his original home folder. And since I did not use Scott for the computer name, uh, we are getting a uh, directory configuration issue over here. Uh, so that's an issue we're coming up with. So it is based on um, Mate here, but we do have the Linux Mint Update Manager, which is a nice feel. You can see the, the uh, window theming up here. I think this is a little bit slightly older Mac. Uh, I don't remember my newer Mac uh, running Yosemite looking much like that. Uh, but we do actually have... Uh, a nice setup here in that um, the overall general layouts are similar. This is your basic um, settings panel, so we don't have quite of the configurations we had in the older Perl version, but that's all as well because the older Perl version just didn't work super well. Uh, a lot of theming issues, a lot of uh, problems with that. We do have um, 
Firefox, we have Thunderbird, Shotwell, GIMP, Abbey Word, OBS, SM Player. There's a dictionary, Kodi, um, GUVC View. Let's go ahead and boot up Firefox there. Our icons are not quite the Mac cursors, but they're pretty close. They're definitely more knockoff Mac. He does like the wobbly windows. That's one of the things he mentioned. Uh, so we do have wobbly windows. Woo! Uh, up here, so our global menus are working well. So if you're looking for that type of feel from a Mac, you have that. Uh, our difference between this and a Mac overall feel is we don't have an overall app launcher like Mac has. We have just this menu here by default and it doesn't have a search function. Now we don't actually have uh, a lot of the bloat. There's still a lot of bloat for most of you guys, but it's not nearly as bad as the old, old PDE version had. Uh, we just have uh, your basic tools We'll have some basic tools from Linux Mint, like your USB writers and formatters, but we also have some Mate uh, applications, of course, the calculator, the font viewer. Um, we have Inkscape, GIMP, Shotwell, Simple Scan, I have Mate. Uh, we have Audio Bible. So the developer of this uh, does appear to be a Christian. The older version had a had a another Bible app in it. It wasn't an audio one. Um, so I'm generally not a huge fan of including things like that unless it's a distro geared specifically towards that faith pace. Now, I am a Christian, so I, I don't mind. Um, but for someone who's not, may not want to see something like that in there. Just, just a thought. Uh, and since it's a general use, general purpose distro, I would say let the user install that. Uh, rather than than anything else. Overall, the uh, I did find that the theming on this one did work, uh, which was a departure from the insanity of the old Perl desktop where the theming was inconsistent. Across the board, it looks like older Mac, but at least it's consistent throughout, so that's good. There might actually be other themes in here. Let's go ahead and have a look. Oh, look at that. We have a domain blocker. That's cool. Um... See if I can remember where my look and feel happens to be in uh, this desktop environment. So we have Perl Pro, we have Perl X. Now, a lot of these Perl Xs are just borrowing from Linux Mint. <laughs> That's what I've found they tended to do. Here's these ones. Oh, we got our green submarine. We all live in a green submarine. A green submarine. Oh, a green submarine. All right. Enough of that, right? So, just a lot of different uh a lot of different theming options in here. Uh nothing that's super brand new Mac, but also nothing that's horrible. This one's actually pretty close. Let's see if we have some consistent theming across the board. Let me boot up GIMP. Um, let's boot up the dictionary. So yeah, we are, are getting good consistent theming across the board in this version. So that's actually really good to see. So not an excessive amount of applications. Um, is there a software manager? System tools. We do have bleach bit. This is the downside of not having a search function. There's software and updates. Okay, we have Synaptic Package Manager. That might be the only package manager that we have. So uh, as far as user friendliness for a new user coming in here and... Um, uh, installing new software, it's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, unless there's a software manager that I'm missing. But anyway, um, that's that. Let's go ahead and just uh, boot into the Cinnamon real quick and uh, just poke around. I don't want to shut down. I just want to log off. All right, let's log out. Let's have a look at what Cinnamon looks like. I can say, though, that the Cinnamon version did look better than that Ubuntu Cinnamon. <laughs> 
It's a cursory thought. All right, so here we are inside of our cinnamon build. Which version of cinnamon are we using? That would be neat to find out. At least here we can do some searching stuff. All right. Again, we're getting the error loading Scott's documents. Linux kernels 5. Is that the one I just had? Okay, there we go. Cinnamon version 3.6. We are running an older version of Cinnamon on here. All right. Um, here's this. Here's our files. Terminal, Synaptic. So, yeah, definitely looks like we probably don't have any other software manager. Oh, there's Perl featured software. All right, let's have a look at this. Sure, let's go ahead and update. So presumably this is also on the other system on uh, Mate as well. Uh, I just wasn't able to find it and it wasn't obvious, but because I had the search function, I could search for something. So let's see what this guy looks like. Okay, so we can install the app grid software that was on his old uh, Perl version, or we can just go ahead and install some of the most common software over here. So, Okay, that's not too bad. And there might be another software manager, like AppGrid is definitely a software manager. Uh, my guess is if we poke around here, we should be able to find some other ones as well. Let's go ahead and exit. Okay. So I'll pull up a few things, make sure our theming is consistent. So theming is consistent. He actually did do uh, kind of like uh, Windows 10-like theming. So on the Cinnamon, you have more of a Windows 10 kind of feel on the overall window border theming versus the Mac uh, on Mate. So that's an interesting take. So I don't know. Um, there's, there's my thoughts. So Perl Linux 7, definitely, definitely better on this version, Perl Linux Pro versus the build that we ha saw on the uh, Perl Linux desktop environment, which was kind of an abominable mess. But this is actually, this is a system I could actually see myself using and trying and playing around with and seeing how it works. So uh, definitely if you want a OS that you can boot into more of a Windows type feel and a Windows Mac type feel, I would, based on looking at this one, I'd probably say this one's a little bit better shot than trying to run with the old uh, Perl desktop environment. So uh, good job, single developer. Please update that website, though. <laughs> but anyway, uh, there's my quick look at Perl Linux OS. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.